Hi there, my name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and this is the own VCO by Theravox or Theravox. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Anyway, this is based on the owned Martino Mark 7, I believe. And before I actually install this, I wanted to take a look at it and see what we could learn from the PCB. So this was designed by Mike Beecham. It has not one, not two, not three, but seven trim pots. That's always very exciting. And let's take a look at the kind of chips that we have on here. So let's see. Looks like that's a LM311. So this is a comparator. I figure is it really that big. I'm using the zoom feature. And so that 311, I'm going to guess that's probably used in the oscillator core. Not sure, though. And let's see what else we have here. We've got a TL074 op amp. That's a quad op amp. Very common in synthesizers. Over here, there's another TL074. Let's see. Down here, we have, that's hard to see, TL074. So that's another quad op amp. What do I have up in the corner here? Let's see, I have a TL074, and wow, my finger looks gigantic. All right, and over here we have an LM13700. Ah, this is a dual operational transconductance amplifier. And zooming back out a bit, one thing to know about the their Vox is that two of the waveforms that you can get actually have sliders that you can use to adjust the volume on those particular waveforms and they have control voltages. So the 13700 here, that must be the voltage controlled amplifiers associated with those two. And probably then the TL074 here is the support circuitry for that, I'm guessing. Now there's one other really interesting chip here that I think this is probably an op amp chip, but it's not a TL074, OPA4191. So let's look that up. Let's see, so that's a quad low power precision CMOS rail to rail input output op amp with low offset voltage, low input bias current. Let's see, we have outstanding DC precision. We have low offset drift, low offset voltage. We have high output current and high capacitive load drive. Huh, I wonder what special property Mike needed that he couldn't get from a TLO 74. Where in the world is that part I need to do do do? All right, let's see. $6.23, $6.71. These are not cheap op amps, so Mike must have had a good reason to use this. Now, something interesting about this design is that I don't see any matched transistor pairs the way I would expect to see for an exponential converter to give you a one volt per octave response. I do see a lot of discrete single transistors though. Hmm, that's interesting. And this is the Arturia Rack Brute case I'm about to install it in. I really like this case, except I don't understand why they're using a whole panel here for the power supply when they could have mounted that internally somewhere. And the fact that the power cord comes out the front here. You could have put that in the side or in the back or something. I don't know. I don't like that part, but the rest of it looks good. Maybe you could take this and actually take this out and mount it down here yourself. That's a thought. I guess you could then drill a hole in the side of the case for the power cable here or something, if you're willing to void your warranty. So my Arturia Rec Brute came with this silica gel package and it says, throw away, do not eat. Do not eat is in quotes. Why is do not eat in quotes? Is this a quotation by a famous person or something? I don't know.